So there you will see how we fought those people. Fought the Banyankore to go from Obujaja to same modern money making. They have not totally transformed, they still have some issues, but they have changed a bit. So that is the third principle. You cannot take advantage of the national market, you cannot take advantage of the, of the African market, you cannot take advantage of the international market unless you undergo social economic transformation. If you go to Europe now, you, can't, you can no longer find the peasants there. They are no longer there. Peasants expired in Europe. But here, we still have a peasant producing another peasant. Umana, umunachalo, nazaru umunachalo. So now coming to the, to the doctors, uh, I have heard what you have, your memorandum was saying. It is clear, because we, we are the ones who are involved in, uh, you, you quoted properly that the doctors who graduated in 1984 were only 77. When I first came, I used to be the Chancellor of Macquarie University. I would go there and see these 80 people in the whole of Uganda. And yet, there is an international measurement for health care. It is called the doctor-patient ratio. The doctor-patient ratio should be one doctor for every 500 people population, which means Uganda with a population of 46 million people now, we need 92,000 doctors. So these doctors we have are not enough. We need more. And that's why at that time I, I, I said, no, we cannot go on with this Makere University. <laughs> I said, no. I started in Bara University. It was controversial. They were saying, no, don't start a new, a new medical school. Consolidate the old one. I said, no. We need more medical schools. Now, you need to resolve these issues, which in my, in my head are clear, but you need to support us so that we, we move properly. Number one, I don't agree with the interruption of somebody's progression from qualifying as uh, doing the, 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 the final medical exam, and then you lose a year before you go for internship. You must continue. But the question is, the question, because if, if you don't, you have not finished your course. If you don't do internship, you have not you finished the, the course. But the question now is, who pays for the internship? Some people are saying the government must pay, but this, I think that one is a bit risky, because the, the, the government would pay if it had money. But because it doesn't have enough money, it has got money, to, but it has got so many things to do. Raw. The selections are of individuals who stay with, work with, and talk to many people on a daily basis. For example, what we have here today, the medical interns are such a category that is closed to many people on a daily basis. This will spread the patriotism message to their clients. And the multiplier effect is great, Your Excellency. Lastly, sir, I wish to congratulate our intern doctors for accepting to participate in this program. In the past, this would not be easy. Indeed, many would misinterpret it and even prioritize 
the choice. However, I believe there will not be among the people who go to climb the wall of Minister of Health demanding to be deployed by force. I normally challenge various medics that uh, for us, the lawyers, after graduating from LDC and law school, we don't normally go to the judiciary to demand for employment by force, but we create our own employment. Imagine if Judge had not given me a job here, I would be somewhere, maybe in a law firm. So I always challenge the medical people that why is it for them every time after school, they go and climb the wall of Minister of Health demanding to be employed by force. Why don't they come up with such ideas of maybe creating associations that can employ themselves where they can develop in one way or another? However, I believe after this training... You've not been to Nali on day one. Because I was talking to my... Ah, when a person manage, maybe tomorrow they had said you can leave. I should... I'm just... And uh, one of the most important thing I've always tried to, we don't see, but the media, we just go in the media and say, oh, the preparing would be very easy. That we would just find this one here, you say you have stolen today. That on the south, we have three, for Operation Wealth Creation, we have three. But for this one here, we've been silent for some time. I told, I told, uh, how do you think your wife, uh, she decides she's going to feel? She's going to feel. Uh, I'm going now to go back since I've already gathered my information and now I'm going to begin that school so you should go back then also what? Don't become comfortable with us. Ideologically oriented. We came when we were unconscious. Now we are here. Perhaps. Where are you going? Go up, go up, come here, come here. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. City of my university, Nabukwasi Catherine Anna represented Islamic University. As we close this, this is a known TikTok and a blogger. <laughs>